way to today's video. Gabby is over there doing the math with her trusted old dad helping her. Sophie and I headed out to do a little bit of shopping. I'll tell you why. It is a gorgeous fall day. Absolutely gorgeous. And I have to run to the bank machine because you know, when you have horses, it's money every single day. The chiropractor is coming today. And I'm excited because... Woo, no Gabby, I get Prince Yeah, no Gabby. I'm excited because Chino, like, he's not lame. He just, like, I think he got into a fight. Not a fight. Chino's not a fighter. I think. He got pushed off? I think he got pushed around and, like, he chucked and ran or did whatever. And he just, like, has a bit of stiffness. And so our vet wants us to strengthen his back end. And, and we're hoping that our chiropractor will make a difference. But anyway, we're headed to the store. Tell them why, Sophie. Because I'm making bread and I need more flour. Sophie's making bread. What are you making bread for? Uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And she's such a good little cook. It's fun Friday. Everybody should have a fun Friday. I always cook on Friday. Yep. Wow, it's been a while since I sat on the couch to show you guys something. Anyways, you guys know that Thanksgiving is this weekend, but it's also uh, Jacob's birthday. So if you guys don't know who Jacob is, Jacob's my grandson. He's turning six, which is insane. So I just want to show you guys. I'm going to wrap his presents and get them ready. I'm going to show you what I bought him for his birthday. So I got him this Lego set. I hope he can do it. It's for like eight years old, I think it said. For eight, eight? Anyway, it's a Star Wars Lego set. I also got him the Fortnite Battle Royal Royale collection. I just got him these little figures because they have like guns and swords and Jacob likes that kind of stuff. So I got him those, the Ice King Zenith. Then I bought him a bunch of clothes. I bought him, he loves army stuff. So I bought him some gray pants and some army pants. I bought him a, a hoodie to go with the gray pants. I bought him this adorable dress shirt because it's nice to have dress clothes too. He always wears casual clothes, but sometimes like he dresses up. This is like a good shirt that he could wear for uh, Christmas or for, I don't know, for anything, for even his birthday party. And then I bought him this Levi long sleeve shirt that's got the army print on it to go with the army pants. Sophie found that one. So that's it, that's all I bought him. It's hard to buy for him because he didn't want anything. He didn't want something specific. Last year he told me what he wanted. Actually last year was hard too. Um, but I just went out there and I know what he likes. I asked his mom and even she has a hard time buying. Like it's hard to buy for kids now because kids have everything. Get off of there. Get off. I off. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to get that wrapped up. It's for his birthday. I'm excited to see the, everybody at Thanksgiving and I'm excited to give him his birthday presents. Like in the States they have Thanksgiving so late they have it in November and that's awesome but I love starting the season in October like once Thanksgiving happens here and Remembrance Day in November our season just really starts off and I love having a long Christmas season it's more relaxed it's easier people shop earlier here and yeah so anyway welcome to the Christmas season you guys I just told her to get off Get her off. See, that's the problem. Some people let her on. And we have Macy over on that side. Get her off. Off. All right, I can not pick you more. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. She's not cute. She's misbehaving. Get her off. But literally, you can't pick her up. I <laughs> know, my arm's stuck underneath her. I showed her to my sister yesterday. You guys know my sister's like an animal. Oh, person she's animal control she used to work for the she used to be the manager of the humane society for a lot of years and ow, ow, ow. she knows every animal she knows every breed she like she knows all animal stuff and she said that she's beautiful she said daisy's beautiful and my sister only judges based on like the the breed standard and and all that kind of stuff so when my sister says that she's beautiful it means a lot to me our covid puppies Daisy would be a good fire dog. She would be. She would not be a good fire dog. Well, she could probably hear the fire bell. Mm -hmm. It's probably the only thing she can hear. Oh, hello, little chickens. Today is my day to come out and collect eggs. Looks like there was a scuffle. See all the feathers? 
Look, I brought you, look, they ate half of a squash yesterday and some spinach and some carrots today. Look at my, I thought these guys were giant chickens. See the white one and the gray? I don't know why, they're so tiny. I got four eggs, love them. Uh, one chicken lays extra large and one chicken lays blue. And two chickens are not pulling their weight. Freeloaders, that's what they are. How cute they are with the feathers. Like they're like silkies except for different. Aren't they beautiful? I love a cute chicken. And these guys are not as beautiful, but they're super amazing. Like she lays extra large eggs and the gray one back there lays blue eggs. You can't get any better than that. We got time on our side. When I stayed on home, I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. So we actually were late today. It's chiropractor day. And we were running late because Gabby was doing an exam and it is so hard. And I was making bread. Sophie was making bread and I'm like, oh my gosh, we're gonna be late. And the thing is, the only reason we're gonna be late is because I keep forgetting that before we can go anywhere, we have to put the mirrors in off the grass so they don't explode. And so yeah, then that's like an extra 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I don't know. Spend horse people. Ugh. Nice horse people there. spend all their time ducking. Well, I don't need a path. I got good boots. All right, I'm going to this path. So you have good boots. Where do you think they are? That way. That way. All right, let's go this way. Anyway, I was freaking out. Sophie was taking forever getting into the car, and I was honking my horn saying, let's go. Like, we're going to be late. It's awful. I hate being late. I hate making people wait for me. I just think that it's rude. Like, I try always to accommodate other people, and not be uh issued you know what i mean like what's the word i don't want like people waiting for me i don't want people being inconvenienced by me so anyways i'm freaking out i'm like honking the horn i'm like oh my gosh we're gonna be late she's gonna have to wait for us i feel so bad and then poof i get a message right at that second and it says laura you're gonna kill me i'm an hour away and i'm like oh phew so she's late and i'm like go slow <laughs> we're late and she's like, excellent. Oh, so now we're searching for our boys. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. And the time that we share makes it over. No, we should try and be quiet and sh sh and surprise them. Why don't we split up? No. Yeah, I like splitting up. Going my own way. Sometimes you have to choose, guys. Sometimes you have to choose in life to go your own direction. And I can tell you that when you choose to go your own direction, you either succeed on a grand scale or you learn the best, biggest, most incredible lessons. So if you get an opportunity to go your own way, always choose it. And remember, this is the big thing. God gives you people for a reason, a season, and a lifetime. And people are always so upset when they have to part ways with other people and it's so silly because every time somebody has shared with you all the lessons that god has meant for them to share with you they're meant to move on and but as soon as they do you'll find something new and exciting and amazing there's a whole other set of lessons for you i'm not finding the horses and now i'm kind of scared like listen everybody listen You can hear the leaves drop in the woods if you're quiet. But look at how gorgeous. That is gorgeous. It doesn't look as gorgeous in the camera. Let's see. It's just gorgeous, you guys. Also, a lot of people tell me that when they hear a message from one of our videos that it seems to always come at the exact right time. It's not a, it's not a coincidence. It means that God put you in the right spot at the right time for me to share a message with you or for you guys to share a message with me. Lots of times I get perfect messages from you guys 
just at the right time. Never, ever a coincidence. God gives you people for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And most of them are for a reason or a season. Only a few short, only a few people are meant to stay with you for a lifetime. This plays on. Do you feel that like we got something strong? And I saw you walking the <sighs> Jesus. He touched, <laughs> touched the fence. Whoa! This little pony came in with the horses. Oh, and he touched the fence. That was not fun. Holy cow! He touched the fence, that little pony. Oh, no. no, and he... Oh, he's got a nasty bite. Huh? He's got a nasty bite. Where? <laughs> That's old. On his bum. That's old. Yeah, it looks old. Benny, you be looking less chubby. Do you see that? He gets mad. Yeah, he... He like, he, he, you know, okay, so let's play a game. We have six horses and there's four of us in our family. So let's pick the horse that most resembles Sophie. Out of all of our horses, who most resembles Sophie? Ben? I think Gracie. Wise, yeah, or? I think Gracie. Who do you think most resembles Sophie? Ben's annoying. I'm annoying. Gracie or Willow. Gracie or Willow. No. I agree. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it's Willow. I think it's Finn. No, Finn is. Who's Finn in our family? Gabby. Mm, I don't think so, but it's close. Don't you even say you. Okay, I'll say Gabby. Because he's quiet, but he complains. Where's the nasty bite on him? See, there's it's teeth marks. Yeah. Who is like dad? Chino. Storm. Chino. All right, Storm is like me. Chino. Actually, Penny is like me. He's always getting hurt. Dad's always hurt. Yeah, Chino. <laughs> Chino. Except for Chino's nice Chino's all the time. Calm and chill. He's nice to me. I don't know what he's talking, like what you're thinking about. He's nice. He's nice to me, except for when the anger is just kicking. Okay. What is negative all right. blank times all right. positive blank? I all don't right. know. What is it? All right. So Chino is dad. Chino is definitely dad. Penny is me. Who's Storm? Storm is Mark. Yeah. Our kid, my son Mark. Storm is Mark. <laughs> You better all behave or else I will get you. So comment below if your horse has the same kind of personality as you. And if he does or she does, tell me what that personality trait is that makes you think it. Penny is stubborn like me and she fights, but then she gives in really easy. We found a little tiny mouse and I don't think he's doing well. No, he's not well. You know when you look at the clock and it says 2.22 or 4.44 or 5.55 or yeah, like I just looked at the clock and it's 2.22. Uh -oh. six, six. No, not 6.66. 6.66 six, six, six. Six, six, six is a bad one, Sophie. 6.66 six, six is my lucky number. Wait, it can't ever be 6.66. 6.66 six, six. Six, six, six is Gabby's lucky number. Gabby is different. Do their own thing. Anyways, uh, we're going home now. The boys got adjusted. Chino was awesome. We're not home now. We're going home now. Chino was awesome. She said like he was doing much better. His body's showing much better. And the only one that was really out was Finn. Whoever would have thought it. Like, remember I told you guys after we went to the show, the last show, he didn't want to go. And he was like kind of not wanting to do stuff. And then we gave him a week off. And probably because he was like getting sore. So yeah, he's all fixed up. They're both all fixed up. And she adjusted like his back end where I told you we have to like try and strengthen and stuff. And so we're gonna see hopefully we come back to ride again and they're both like fantastic but we always give them the day off after a uh, chiropractor my sister Gabby's already beat us in the barn my sister messaged me and she said oh I just want to know what time you guys want me to be there tomorrow for Thanksgiving and I'm like tomorrow I thought we were doing it on Sunday huh? and she's like oh yeah Sunday and I'm like oh my gosh give me a heart attack it's already getting dark out we planned to I, so I have a schedule of getting to my first trail ride with Penny and I have like all these plans and today's plan was to take her for a trail ride not take her for a trail ride perfume I'm not wearing any perfume let me smell no not a single bit Ooh, perfume anyways oh well it's better they say I smell like perfume than other things right it's gonna put so my what things like I don't know stink anyways like I gotta put my shoes on because 
I was supposed to try, Sam said we could take Penny for a, for a drive in the trailer today. Since when did he say that? And then, and then like then the next time we could take her for a drive and take her out wherever we go and then I could take her like for a walk. I want to take it slow so she feels safe. Anyways, we changed it. I had carrots and I forgot to bring them, bring it. We changed it so today I'm just going to load her and close the door. And then the next time I'm gonna take her for a ride. And then the next time I'm gonna take her for a ride and take her out. We found a box of Lucky Charms in the trailer. I do not know how that happened. And the truth may come as a surprise that we... Well, that's the last thing you do. Is it? I want to do this before the butt bar. Where's the front one? Okay, we're having... Oh, you're okay. You're okay. Yeah. So, I don't know if you guys... No, I can load... Alright, I do not know what's happening. Okay, so... Wait, should I tie her up? Oh, yeah, tie her up. Okay, hold on. Alright, I'm like... Nervous. Good girl. Whoa. Good girl, Ben. Good girl. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Yeah, I'm going to stay in. I need a light though. All right, he's closing the back. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. Yeah. All I see is. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have her in. Are you closing the other doors in? Yeah, do you want to be locked in here? I, I think so. Like, can she get out? No, she can't get out. Okay, she I'll be in. bust the halter though, but... Okay. Go ahead. All right, oh my gosh. I'm trying to like... You're okay. Yeah. No, 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 it's okay. It's just too dark now, right? Yeah, it's dark. Bad planning. Good girl, yeah. Yeah. It's okay, nice and slow. Good girl. I mean, she's a, she's a, an experienced trailer horse. Yeah. Here you go. Good girl. Yeah, yeah, all right. So we did it. Hold on. Okay, just leave us for a few minutes. Yeah, get a few treats going. She's not even worried, you guys. I mean, she was snorting. She was snorting. She was snorting. We're locked in the trailer. See, it's fun, Penny Pickle. It's so fun. Yeah, she's like, she's fine. She's totally fine. All right, so I'm going to try and sneak off. We have this little side door here. I literally just held my phone and a video came up of somebody trail riding, like going fast on a trail ride. And that's what I want to do. It's like a sign. Okay. Look at all the pitchforks in here. Yeah. That's where all the pitchforks are. The broken ones. Oh, yeah. all right. Here we go. All right, I'm out and she's still calm. All right. All right. Girl, we'll try and drive around the block. Drive around the block. And then the next time we take her, we take her and I like, um, take her out and walk her for a little bit someplace. She ready? did good. Yep. Wait, let me get a couple of treats. Cause I make her stop at the gate at the door. Cause she tries to rush out. Back. Yeah. I think I've got it. <laughs> Oh, I hope so. You're in trouble. <laughs> that was fun. All right, so that was not good. That was not good. Well, normally she does good. Normally she gets the, yeah. A 200 pound tire. A 200 pound pumpkin. Yeah, she got socks. All right. So, yeah. Stop, it's okay. 
Oh my God, she's acting wild now. So obviously I was not expecting her to like lunge out like that. She's never ever done that before. She's like always a little bit pushy, but not bad. She just dragged me out and I couldn't stop her. So we'll have to work on that. Like obviously I made mistakes. I was prepared for it. I thought I was prepared for it. I didn't have anything in my hands. I was like holding strong, but just us like locking her in there gave her a bit of anxiety and whoosh, she just dragged me right off. None of us were expecting it. So now the next time we do it, we'll be prepared and I'll have Gabby do it. <laughs> Cause Gabby is way stronger and she will not do that. And I'll be prepared before we even get off. Anyway, Sam got a new light for the barn too. Super cool. I love it. It's like, you can see it from the house, but it's not until after you walk up to it that it gets super bright. Don't you know that you're beautiful?